good to Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, let me let me show those gor- gorgeous girls. There they are. <laughs> Two messy starts to two pods today. Yes. If, you know, we are anything, we are consistent all the time in our inconsistencies. 7.43 for a 7.30 start. Yeah, it's about consistent. And we were ready, but it was, we had technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Hi, girls. How are you doing today? <gasps> oh, I can, we can see the... <gasps> So you can see the chat on the side? You can see the chat in the same screen. Where? What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Okay, do you, do you see, see the chat the... Yeah. <laughs> in in our in our uh recording, recording. screen? Nar. Look to the side. Oh, I see. I gotta click it. <gasps> wow, I... that's so nice. And so now Wait, we has it never been like that for them? I guess they've never been no. able to see it. That's why you've no, always had the had second screen. Oh, that's why, that's why, oh, why, that's why she's it. that's why she's at HR. Because for us, it's always been there. So that is so funny. Wow! 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 You so really nice. learned something new. <laughs> Hi, sweetie pies. All right, everyone. Hi. Welcome back Hi, to the show baby. that asks the most important question of your week. Where is Kate Middleton? Where is Kate Middleton? That is the only question (laughs) that needs to be asked. Uh, Oh, man. I could not care less (laughs) about the royal family. Uh, But this That being said. That being said. said, This tea. This tea is so funny. (laughs) It's so funny. And like. How are those in the UK so bad at Photoshop? Like, I just have so many questions about it. You know what I mean? I we've got so many, so many many tools. (laughs) Tools that you could use. Literally every every social media thing has their own photo editor now. Your default phone has a photo editor now. Like it's crazy. So we will be talking about, and let's shall we look at it? them multiple <sighs> the edited photo oh. oops where is Kate Catherine Middleton Princess of Wales I would like to know everybody's conspiracy theory of where she is so let's start with Casey Casey where do you think Kate Middleton Casey. is <laughs> <laughs> Um, in my, in my mind, she is trapped in a Charles <laughs> Entertainment cheese. <gasps> um, like a Five Nights at Freddy's, but like it's a Five a Nights at Freddy's situation. She has not yeah. been able to get out. Um, yeah, I think absolutely. she, she is actually, um, Helen Henney. She's, she's, she's on sure. stage. Yeah, she has she's become one. She's become, she has become Helen. She was not yeah. able to break the curse and now must live the now rest of her life perform. yeah she's yeah. stuck because, yeah because there's absolutely chuck e cheese's in england and yeah. she's stuck there yeah and they still have the full animatronic band i love a good time so i think i'm gonna go with the rest of the inner of unserious internet and say she's recovering from her bbl and i think that's just <laughs> That's a good yeah. one. That's a good I one. Like it. It's a classic for sure. So funny. Wow. Come on. You know, yeah, because it's like there's certain there's certain work that you get done and like BBLs, maybe like Chen Lipo, things where you have mm-hmm. to have like a thing on, yeah. you know. Uh it's just recovery, you know? Yeah. Cause she did have surgery. And Re- so abdominal, allegedly oh, allegedly abdominal yeah. surgery. Allegedly she had abdominal so like a surgery. Yes. Sculpted, like a re- the same, sculpt, like a sculpted, the same, cool the same sculpt. week that the king found out he had cancer. So I here's my fun. Where is Kate Middleton? I think mm-hmm. she is per, uh contestant on the masked singer. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, that's yes. what I think. That's what I think. That's and so number two, good. I think she is pregnant with somebody else's baby. That is the big. That's the big T. <gasps> I, I think. Don't... I think that's. I think that's what it is. It's the guy. It's the the one that they reported that that got that's dead. Oh, Pippa's ex, the unalive oh, one. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yes. I didn't catch that part of the team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do I think? Yeah, what's your fun one yeah. and what's your so Spanish Spanish media is saying that there was a there was a um there was a rumor from like a, a maid or something from the palace that said that she <laughs> she's in a coma. I shouldn't laugh at that. That's not funny. <laughs> yes. Um I don't know if it's that, but sometimes things can happen from I will say sometimes things can happen post surgery that was not mm -hmm. uh expected per se. Yeah. Um so I could be tr the truth, but I she's not the current qu like she is not currently the reigning she's not she's never going to be the monarch she would only be the spouse of the monarch it's yeah. and they're not even currently on the throne so it's if that was the case it's weird that they're making it such a big deal you know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. um that i think it's it is embarrassing like a bbl <laughs> the most I boring have. story is that they are trying to navigate how they're going to release that they are getting a divorce and they have two camps, the Kate camp and the will camp. And they keep conflicting, like uh, keep putting out conflicting reports. So that's why it's so. And that's why they're, that's why she's, that's the big, I mean, that's why when he released the statement together. on Palestine and Israel, he had his him. crest and not her, oh. their, their joint crest. Wow, Adam, you are Reuters. Jeez. Also, I would like to say this. I found out that she does not like to go by Kate. She personally goes prefers to be called Catherine. Um, her name starts with a C. And then there's some rumors that Catherine they they that Camilla and Charles asked her to change her, like to how she goes by to Kate with a K because they are the couple that starts with a C. <gasps> This damn colonizing family is such a damn mess. Like truly, I, it, it has like devolved, and it's kind of. I mean, insane. it is funny. All the people who have been like, "Wow, the queen Elizabeth really was keeping that shit." Together. Literally, <laughs> yeah. she was I, like, "I'll oh, shut." And up. I saw a tweet that was like, "I can't believe she was able to do it." And I was like, "Guys, there's six seasons of a television show for you to watch to show how she, how did, she it. did it." She literally. I knows. saw a TikTok today, and it was one of my favorites. Like all of you. All of you countries that was taken over by uh -huh. the queen is gone. Your king is not a king. All this shit is happening. Invade. Now's the time. <laughs> Invade. Somebody was it's like, go in. There, the king is cancer. He's like going with like they're not even doing chemo. I believe. I think they're going with like herbal medicine for. Oh, yeah. not him. the herbal bitch. The, she's missing, and then like. There was that day where Will showed up and it looked like he had like bruises on his neck. And so there was someone who was tweeting like, if this was the 1300s, France would already be trying to invade. Oh, literally. <laughs> yeah. Girl, that little and island. So I yeah. saw a tweet that was like, Ireland, you have the funniest thing in the world you could possibly do right now. <laughs> Ireland, you know what would be so cute? You know it would be so funny? <laughs> if you would Get back Northern her. Ireland. Just take it back. <laughs> you know, just I feel like I'm gonna take this right back. Thank you so much. <laughs> sorry. Oh, did you leave this? It's sorry. Wild. Let me just. Oh, oh sorry. It is. It is real wild. wild. It is crazy, and I just. I'm. The... I'm finally gonna talk to Ari this week because I believe we're gonna start recording Harry Potter again yes. this weekend because she finally has moved. She's in. She a is in a house, home. Which is very exciting. Yes. Uh, Her neighbor awfully looks a lot like Kate Middleton. <laughs> 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 her real estate agent her, yeah her landlord <laughs> landlord and so i'm very excited to be like what is it like currently living in the uk while this nonsense yeah. is happening There's a thing. i need to know yeah. she was in gag city she was an ai she world. was in gag in city Titan. for sure <laughs> with nikki with nikki minaj oh my god help well that's royal talk <laughs> Our royal moment. I remember, like back when, when the Harry and Meghan wedding was happening. I remembered listening to a, a podcast when Harry met Meghan every week of like just the royal wedding, everything, and look how we've come to now. <laughs> look how we've come. Uh, Harry and Meghan were in Austin at La Barbecue. 
Oh. Wow. Did you see them? <laughs> no, I just saw the picture of them at the barbecue place. That's fine. Okay, no, that's I want to ask them how they to read this title to see if they can pronounce that. Okay, this is also part of the lore. Part of what's happening right now, too. Okay. Girls, doing? could you recite this title? This title. Let, well, recite her full name and title. Oh, yeah, easy. <laughs> Simple. Casey, why don't you start? <laughs> Casey, go ahead and give a shot. Sarah Rose Chalmondale, <laughs> Marchioness <laughs> of Chalmondale. Okay. The that's, that's Chalmondale, how I honey. I feel like that's how I, I, I would have said it. Tongue pop. Tall Mondale. So it's Marchioness. So pretty much, yeah, you got that right. yeah. It's Chumley. It you mean with the, you, oh, you Chumley. Right you know, the, below where the it tells us how oh, to say it. literally right there. Oh, does it? Oh. Chumley. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> I didn't even, well, neither of you saw it, so you're the stupid <laughs> no, one. So I, did, I did see it, but I was like, well, there's no way. Yeah, there's no that's way. pronounced no way. Chumley. That's chumley. Anyway, she is. Do you want to? You want the tea on her? Is she the yeah. mistress? She's allegedly Will's mistress, and she's getting soft launched in the media right now. Because <gasps> there's a whole article from like. I want a photo. I want a photo. Wait, oh, her. She has her husband's pretty handsome though. I don't want to see. No, he's her husband. not. He's not. I want to see this girl. No. Look at her. That's her. She. She looks. She, she looks British. She looks Will British. That's British. Type. She's got oh. she's got that Habsburg chin, honey. <laughs> Retreating right into that neckline. Wow. I feel wow. so bad for Will getting getting the wrong um aging Jeans. jeans. <laughs> yeah. The wrong yeah. set. Wow. Man, what a shame. Messy. Messy, 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 messy. I don't know. Can you go back to that photo of Will? I'm going to stand in opposition of the internet. This on one this. or this one? That one. This one. He still looks like Diana. He in the face. He still looks like Diana. He has lost his hair, but that is from more so her side than That's Charles's true. side, because Philip had a full head of hair till the day he died. That's not true. He he had <laughs> hair for a very long time. It did not. It did not. It did not bald early. <laughs> Which Famously. sorry, which day, which day of death are you talking about? The real one or the biological, the natural one? <laughs> the one where they carted his or... corpse around in, the, in that Rolls Royce. <laughs> oh, oh, man, man. Anyway. Well, fascinating. Can't wait to see what happens. I know, I know. Next... Netflix has to be kicking themselves there. They, oh, they were the like, we stopped over. already. Damn. I know. Well, Miranda, Casey, as the only people that watch the Oscars. I was um, the only person of this podcast to watch the Oscars. Casey, live. you didn't watch it? Live. No, oh, live. No. You went we and were watching, we were watching the best picture. Oh, Oppenheimer. oh sure. You were up and hyming. Yeah, I, we saw those close friends videos you trying to talk about Oppenheimer. Y'all, I did not know that... <laughs> I did not know that Albert Einstein was around when Oppenheimer was around. Like I, I equate. Albert How old Einstein. do you think Albert Einstein is? Like Jesus Isaac Newton? Saying, here's the thing. Yes, that's what yes. it was. I, I was thinking Sir Isaac Newton because I'm thinking this man lived in the like, like 1600s. Like Benjamin, like Benjamin Sam, Franklin. Sam, Sam, Sam. No, I'm thinking he was somewhere with that apple. I did not even know this was based on a true fucking story, okay? <laughs> I did not know Oppenheimer was an actual human being. I thought it was a character who made up the Emily Blunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who made up, yeah, yeah. Who's married to I Emily Blunt? Absolutely. I didn't even know they were married to Emily Blunt. I know literally <laughs> nothing except it won Best Picture. Killian Murphy won. Do you Best know what Best it's about actor. now? I knew it was about an atom bomb. I didn't know the and the atom bomb. <laughs> what do you mean? And, and uh, oh, this, the I many that know. we've had around the world. In your numerous movie? accounts. Maybe. Maybe it was a world that was just cre- <laughs> like all they did was create atom bombs. I don't know. It's like Transformers. It yeah. was yeah, it was like part of the Star Wars cinematic. Universe. Yeah. I, it's like I the Infinity Stone. Yeah. yeah. That's so funny. Okay. Yes. Anyway, so Albert so I, I 
But yeah, Albert Einstein and Benjamin Franklin both discovered Ju- like, good Judies with each other. Yeah. Besties. Kikiing out at the club. Okay, so we ended awards season with the Oscars, the 96th annual Oscars. Jimmy Kimmel was the host for some reason again. We've got to this stop. This is like his fourth we year, right? Stop. stop the white men. We have to stop. I, so I, God. I am genuinely tired of like, I'm tired of hosts that are like, it started with Ricky Gervais. And then like, oh, every, yeah. even though everyone felt like they were like, we don't like it. Enough people clearly liked it that they like, it's now the thing to be like, all these movies are stupid. Yeah. And yeah. that's like the host's go-to joke. The The opening monologue was really long. First of all, they started like six minutes late. Yes, they did not just even like, start. Just like, uh, just like us, yeah. <laughs> just like us tonight. <laughs> Do you know why? We were 16 minutes late. No, why? There was there was protesters that shut down oh, parts of the city. Oh, yes, they did. Oh. They shut down. Mm-hmm. If people couldn't get in. Ariana was late. She and then she posted an Instagram story and said traffic. And we were there like was a, girl. There was a blind item that apparently she dropped her vape and was nervous that it was going to set her dress on fire. Amazing. I mean that I, I, duvet. It's so funny. Have you <laughs> have you cool. seen a girl on TikTok who recreates dresses from the red carpet? No. Out of, like things around her house. I'll have to oh, find it and send it to you. It's iconic. Um, but she was able to do Ariana's very quickly. Um, so yeah, he his opening monologue was whatever. The main part I was like, I felt very uncomfortable with was when he was like talking about Robert Downey Jr. for too long. Like it was him talking about Robert Downey Jr.'s past. And we all know yeah. it was bad. Yes. And he like kept honing in on it. And like, he was like, you could tell he was like, all right, funny. And then he just kept going. And I was like, because you was not- trying to, because he was trying to tra- make a transitional joke to talk about that dog. Yes. Yeah. In the movie. And, and we see it with trans Now we have fall. Yeah. And yeah, like, and, but the joke. lead up to it was taking too long and it was just so awkward. Oh, so Yikes. like you've seen a person get punched in the face for a bad joke already. Yeah. Like, do we not? Let's not. Let's, Let's not. Let's just not. Um, he was fine. Whatever. I really enjoyed. I loved when they presented the four main acting awards. Mm-hmm. They did this beautiful presentation where they had five different like spotlights and Oh God. And the past past presenters Mm -hmm. or past winners. And they would do like the audio of them winning it. Oh, Mm -hmm. it killed me. And Mm -hmm. then it like lifted and they kept walking out. I loved that. That was like Mm -hmm. my favorite part of the show. It was beautiful. Stunning. I Um, did go back and watch all of those. You did. Mm -hmm. They've done that a few times. They posted it on Hulu. The oh. next day. Yeah. And then They've what everybody's talking times. about, mm-hmm. the moment everybody wanted, and they gave it, you know? That performance of I'm just. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yes. What were you going to say? I thought you were going to talk about somebody getting a word. That's all. I oh, me. no. How was the performance? Ken? Yeah. The performance, it was the best thing I have seen at an award show in so long it was everything i wanted that to be it was a direct reference to uh gentlemen mm-hmm. prefer blondes uh mm-hmm. the song diamonds are girl's best friend yes we love that we love um i saw people being like people think they don't like musical theater and then they'll watch this performance and be like this is so fun i love it and it's like but babe then that's you it, love girl. musical this theater i hate to tell this you that's what Sorry. it is. Eight days a week, girl. Eight shows a week. <laughs> eight day, eight days a week, honey. Eight days a week, honey. Wow. Honey. wow. Um, yes, I saw the clip of Margot, Margot singing. That was cute. Yeah, it was cute. And Margot was wearing all black, be- because America was wearing pink, so it was very symbolic. It's the end of the Barbie era. For Margot, mm-hmm. and she's handing it off to America's character and giving America her moment at mm-hmm. the Oscars. 
because she's in her Barbie era. Also, sorry. Um, uh, fucking, what's her name? I can't think of names right now. Um, who presented to America? Cheetah Rivera. No, not Cheetah Rivera. Rita Moreno. Rita Moreno. <laughs> Rita Moreno. Just starting by being like America, America. and everyone <laughs> applauds. America. So good. I think Man. Rita Moreno is ninety six years. I think she's as old as the Oscars. <laughs> She's yeah. She's, she's so old. It's she's great. So I love her. Loved it. Yeah, America. it was great. America. America. Anyway, that's really all I had. It was pretty boring. Yeah. Which she's ninety two. Wow. Wow. My heart's devotion. An icon, a legend. Great. That's your that's your Oscars roundup from me. From Miranda. Thank you, Miranda. I know. So we <laughs> we watched last instead of watching the Oscars on Sunday evening, we watched the movie we that we are covering will, for Showgaze. Well, the next movie we're covering for Showgaze, and will be the I think the most talked about movie. For I think it's winning Best Picture next twenty twenty four's Oscar. Mean Girls. No. This is me now. This is me now. The Jennifer, the Jennifer Lopez. Lopez. <gasps> Album oh. Have you seen Have any clips? Amazon Prime. Have you seen any I images, Miranda? Anything. I've Miranda, here's what I'll say. Here's some, I'll give you some pros. It's 66 minutes long, and 11 of those minutes are credits. Slay. So it's 55 minutes long. So it's a perfect movie for Miranda, honestly. It might be your honestly, best picture with it that could be, information. It, you could distill that movie into probably seven yeah. TikToks for sure. Because oh, yeah. Will you work now, on that for me? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and will you do me a favor and send me the fourth clip first? Perfect. And then, I, <laughs> and then I gotta find it. Yeah, yeah. And then I piece it together from there. Yeah. Uh, Great. So because there's the this is me now, but then there's also the movie. The separate. movie. Yeah. So the doc the documentary. The documentary making the movie. Which is of the, making the, the movie. The well, the doc I, kind of the, the album, documentary right? is like about her and Ben. Really, it's like the greatest okay. love story oh. never told. Even though we all we know you talk, you do no, us give so <laughs> much <laughs> info to the public. She's we, know, told. we know so much about Jennifer Lopez. We know ben so Affleck. much. About we ben, know so much ben of and Ben. We know Ben Affleck's exact Dunkin' Donuts orders because the paparazzi <laughs> keep we know. taking pictures of him we are every aware. morning. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we watched this. Tune into our showcase episode for the full review, and I will say it is filled to the brim with CGI gloop. There's just so Sorry. much CGI what? Gloop. gloop. Just like oh. I am there's nothing on the screen that's real. In and, and like doesn't look great. <laughs> there's a scene where she is like in her house. That's all CGI. First of all, they couldn't even find like a real, just like really nice her mansion for her to shoot in. The whole CGI. house is CGI, and she's walking on this like tiled floor that's clearly not real. And it's that thing where like it's not done well enough, so you can tell she's not actually stepping on the like. So there's like of, a remove. Do you know what I'm saying? Kind of looks like she's floating um, a little bit. It look, it's a yeah. little like she's floating on the on the pavement. Casey, I do kind of recommend you and Joe watching it just for the fun. Just to be like, okay. you know I what? Say, I say take an edible. Take an edible and watch. Throw it and, on. And, and, and you know. Pop in one of my Costco um, melatonin. <laughs> oh. 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 We lost her. Oh. Yes, we lost there, her. You're back. You're back. Pop oh. in your what? Melatosts? Oh. Melbatosts? No, she's melatonin. gone. Melatonin. Oh, I think you're melatonin. missing. Oh, I think Casey, you're missing Bluetooth. Gone. I think you're missing AirPods. Did her in again. Bye, Casey. Bye, Casey. Bye. We're removing you from the no. stream. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. Okay. Why do we it keep doing this when you're cutting out Adam? <laughs> it's fine. Because, I look terrible. Because when I post a, a, a comment. It doesn't move everybody up. It doesn't move everything up. It, we don't have any comments. It'll, it'll, co it'll cover whoever is in the bottom. That's fine. You can cover me. <laughs> oh, we'll cover, cover Casey. Casey. She's not talking. How do I? Oh, oh there, there you are. are. Oh. 
She's back. How do I? Oh my god, they brought out Andrea Bocelli to sing the in memoriam. Oh, what did he sing? <sighs> one of his songs. <laughs> one of his, like, one of his well, iconic yeah. songs. You know the iconic? one. The hold on. Let me sing it. Conte. No. Partido. Not that one. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, it was? <laughs> yeah. That one. How will we say goodbye? Okay. That one. That's all. Wow. Um, um, Casey, what would yeah, you? I'm, as did you watch all the Oscar movies? You watched all all ten Best Picture nominees. I not all ten. I never. I I haven't got to Anatomy of a Fall. That comes to Hulu. Um, in a in like a week and a half. In like a week. Okay. Um. So I'll get to that then. And I never saw Zone of Interest. Okay. Um. But you saw. So I think those. You saw yeah. four fifths. What would you four say, fifths. of the eight that you saw, who would you have picked? If you were, you're, you're an, you're Academy you're balloter. An yeah. Yeah. I'm a yeah. I I'm the Academy, and I'm voting. I'm not voting for Oppenheimer. <laughs> no. That shit. Confused no, like, you. Confused she, me. Yeah, they're playing with timelines. They got Einstein in there. He's he's from the 1600s. He shouldn't <laughs> yeah, be there. He's from the 1600s. He another work of fiction, you know. What else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I, I mean, mean, was Einstein like the imaginary friends that he kept? Re- that's, that's what it's not. Like, that's what it's not. Like Casey, just, like, I want to ask. I want to ask another <laughs> oh, question. Lord. The the she hasn't even answered the question. Yet. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. What? Well, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought you were just saying. You, okay, sorry. What oh yeah. You, well, I wouldn't vote for. I wouldn't vote for Oppenheimer. I mean, maybe for sound, just because I mean, I'll give them. Sa- I'll give them sound. You know, I would, no. Yeah, but I you haven't. But you haven't seen Sound of Interest. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen Sound of Interest. But you do you know, know how they use sound in Sound of Interest? Have you heard about it? I no. I actually because you know the premise, right? Yes, I know what the premise is. So you just, you never see anything because it's like all shot in their like garden basically, but you hear mm-hmm. the camp the whole movie. And they don't say anything about and it. And they just pretend all. like it's not happening. Mm. So I think that's why it <laughs> okay, so it's, like, like, mm. it's like very, it's a brilliant use of sound. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, obviously, I'm of the Lily camp. Um, for mm-hmm. at least, I mean, for so for for best picture though, for the you know the movies in whole, mm-hmm. I mean, I am st- I'm still for Killers of the Flower Moon because I mm-hmm. do feel like it is a really like it's crazy that it's like a real story that happened. Yeah, totally. And and like just the way that they present you know just the movie itself it's like it's totally worth the three plus hours that it is and it's so compelling (laughs) and so just like everything about it is i like it it was one of those movies that like i actually didn't think like you know like i'm watching dune too and i'm like when is it over but this movie i I wasn't even thinking like when is this going to be over because i was so invested in everything that's happening Whereas with like Oppenheimer, I'm not invested in this. They keep going back to the this and that and that and this. And I'm like, where are we? Like, I'm getting like whiplash because they're going like to the future. They're going to the Mm -hmm. past. Everything's Mm -hmm. in black and white. Everything's color now. Florence Pugh doesn't have a shirt on for any of it. Um, I mean, which I'm fine with. But um, but also it's just like it was too much. Whereas like I feel like Killers of Flower Moon had this like this beautifully like wonderfully told story that from start to finish you were compelled Mm -hmm. and it you know it and it was impactful and i mean the atom bomb was impactful too mama but yes famously famously it made a big bang but not with me oh Uh, they're gone lost them (laughs) hopefully okay but but yeah but but that's that's where I would change, and and that's you know a, probably a a personal choice, and I and you know, but but that's I what also, it is. That's a per. That's, that's what you yeah. do if yeah, you're yeah. in a totally. member. Yeah, and yeah. I and I do think that I do think that Bella Baxter, Miss Emma, 
Mm-hmm. I think, you know, I think that is a really, it was a really interesting role and really out there and, and she played it really well. And the movie itself is just like, so I don't like talking about this, but I like, you know, it's, I feel like I'm not qualified, even though I've seen the movies, but I'm like, that I makes you qualified. That makes you qualified. You've seen the movies probably more than some of the people who actually voted saw the movies. To be quite yes, honest. The, the, they're just voting because they know so and so. I did not know Emma Stone had a daughter. I learned that in her acceptance speech. She's a three year old yeah. daughter. Yeah. Wow. Right, right during the pandemic. She, she said, said, Well, yeah. while we're on a break. Yeah. No, exactly. Like, well, we're yeah. not doing anything. Let's create a human. literally went yeah. to my high school. There are the three girls school photos. two years for me. Oh. Oh, really? I think it's like right yeah. after she, yeah, because yeah. it's yeah, right after I think she people. made Cruella is when she got oh. pregnant. I believe the mm. timeline. Listen, perfect time timing. That little meme of her running when she realized that her hair and makeup was winning the Oscar, and she was like, "Oh, I'm not in there." Poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. Um, Casey, you have seen Dune too. Yes. Did you get the popcorn bucket? Did you get the the orifice popcorn bucket? I want to show the girlies this popcorn. No, because she didn't go to AMC. I did not go to AMC. We went to a true IMAX theater, which famously there's only one in Austin and it's in the damn museum. Why are all the IMAX theaters in like a science center or a museum or to look at the stars? State (laughs) museum or whatever. And we had to get there an hour early and there was already at least 50 people there when we got there an hour early because it's there's Damn. no assigned seating. Here she is. Here she this is. is. The the pocket popcorn. Yeah. The sand. Uh, oh. Look at the how much people are selling it right now on eBay and Etsy. Oh my wow. god. Casey, you could have got one. Casey, you could have made some money. I got one. I yeah. saw people selling the mini Trader Joe's tote on eBay for one thousand dollars. Oh my god! It was a two ninety nine, yeah, little pouch. But it's thing. like people are people are look at this four hundred sixty nine dollars. There's no way dollars for yeah, that. For your no, pill? not that one. Oh. Not that one. That's there's a little bag inside of that bag, so you take it out, and it's a. Mm. I have that in my car. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna look up canvas tote Trader Joe's. I'm gonna look up the most recent um, sold prices. Oh yeah, good idea. Because because you when you're re- for whatever you want, when That's- you're reselling, you need to look at sold comps. You got to look. And say that, Casey, at someone who works in sales, I'm happy to tell you, you got to look at your comps. You got to pull your comps. got to look at your comps. I will say um, one went for $24.99. You okay. could get all four for $60. Okay. Um, I mean, they are $64. cute. $64.99. Oh, but so how cute. big are they? Just like, they're like they're small. Oh, okay. Like. Like the tiny IKEA. But them. at the but at the same time, like one one sold today for eleven dollars. Mm-hmm. You know? One sold for fourteen. One sold for twelve ninety nine. These are all today. So it's just like some people are like, you know what? I just want all four and they paid fifty bucks plus shipping. I could um, have gotten all four and I chose to get just one. Look at me. And that's what see that's you what you're supposed one? to do. That's sustainable. I am sustainable queen. Cause yeah, I mean, like they're going, they're going for about on average fourteen to fifteen dollars a piece. Mm-hmm. So after, so then, so if you think about that, that's gonna be um, that's twelve dollars before fees and all your stuff. Oh. So you're looking at maybe like um, after fees, we'll say we'll we'll say ten. You paid. Wait, oh my, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't care that much. Miranda, about much about nine there? to ten dollars profit. $2.99. Oh, they were so cheap. They were so cheap. So you can make about nine to ten dollars profit. So if you got a bunch of them, then like it's easy to flip them. Sure. But it's also just not very nice to be the person that buys no. all of them in the store. 
and true. flips him whenever a Miranda comes up that just wants her one. I just want my one. What color did you get, Miranda? Blue? I went with blue. I And then I kicked myself because I was what? like, I feel like I would have liked the yellow as well. But yellow wasn't an all year round color for me. So I just went with blue. It's fine. I'll be fine. It's cute. I love. I mean, a, a green, classic I like the blue green a navy lot. strap on the on a white canvas. And you my can't go wrong. In my regular Trader Joe's tote is blue as well, so I think it just like is whatever. Yeah. You. It's your away. It's your away travel. It's your trap. away travel. <laughs> mm-hmm. If I if that was my personal, it's the only thing that fits on a I, frontier I, flight. Uh, yeah, right? it's a mid Trader Joe's. <laughs> My mom loves a classic like at Southwest. If you can have your personal and your 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 carry on, your hand carry, she loves mm-hmm. doing a tote because that's that's the food. Okay, oh, that, sure. the Tupperware uh-huh. the rice cooker. And listen, those like Marshalls bags that you can get for like a oh, dollar, girl. you can fit so much shit in there, and then you just yeah. shove it up above. My God, it's not even. I, well, we've already talked about it, but when we all come back, like when we come back from Asia, it's like I will have to buy. I have to. We will have to bring empty bags. Yes. Empty should we, luggage. Should we share on the pod? The what? The word <laughs> going to? No. Are some photos what? of a new location? Some photos? No, that's the new. This shit is on YouTube, Adam. Do not show them your new apartment and give them your address. Oh, psycho. Even though you did show, like, this is a potential uh, apartment that we could have done. We didn't show the actual one. Yeah, no, no. We're not doing that. Yes, we're not showing, but we are um, are moving to someone's attic. That's literally, I mean, that is the best way I could explain it. We're going to be a Bogart in an attic for sure. Yeah, there's a house that converted their attic into a two bedroom apartment and we're going to be living there. So are so are the owners, the owners live there or That I don't know. It's don't, not we don't know. I don't think it's the actual landlord uh the landlord owns it, but it's just very funny that it's it, so the whole house is like it's three units. Gabled, is that what it's called when it's like dormered? Dormered. Mm-hmm. Dormer. Yeah. So we've got some. That's like all those that's like all those houses in fucking Vermont. They're so weird and they all have like the mm-hmm. The roof. The, yeah, the roof. I think they're fun. The roof. We're buying a lot of rugs, girl. You still got that ruggable code, Miranda? No, I don't. <laughs> Seven years ago. <laughs> no. I was like, no, it was during COVID or right before COVID. I forget. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to y'all need to get on the boys love train and be like, hey, we've got we've got the we've got a yeah, whole studio to people. decorate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, just start reaching Edge. out to companies. Show out, show them your boys' love numbers. <laughs> <laughs> show those Ampliverse stats, bitch. Uh-huh. Because they're not coming from group chat, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Wait, this is a passion project. This is a passion. This, this is, is. This, this is, is literally way, us patching up, truly. It is I mean, literally a way to have a conversation with the... Because honestly, if we didn't have the podcast, I don't know if I'd I would never, ever... It's I'd just the chat. It literally it's is just, just the group chat. Just I well, and they're, you're not even reading it because you didn't even react last night, RJ. I literally sent it for you. I didn't tag you because everybody could agree with it. But I know we're not on spring break, but someone is. You know, mm. Jace is in Anaheim, California at a yeah. con. Yes, I didn't react to it. Yes, but I did see this. And I post-time. look at his little location, and he there he is. Corn Dog Castle, bitch. Corn Dog, Paving, Castle. Paving Corn Dog Castle. He said, I oh, have to visit the king. He was so <laughs> excited. He was the like, close I'm- friend's photo was so funny of him taking a selfie as the world of color. I was like, you didn't send me a picture of the fun wheel. And he's like, it's not pretty right now. Hold on. And then he sent me a picture of the fun wheel. And then the next one was just a picture of him. <laughs> I was like, great. <laughs> Regent perked on the camera because he heard Jace. Oh, so. oh, sweet Jace. But he went and he got his. So Jace loves Corn Dog Castle. It is like mm-hmm. his favorite. He gets the Hot Link Corn Dog every mm-hmm. single time. It, and he was like, it was so elite. And then I was like, oh, you should go get the Birria Tacos in San Francisco now. And he said they were mid. <gasps> but it was also like, it was also like nine o'clock in California. Yeah, they've been sitting there. Like, well, I was like, it's the end of the day. That is the that is one. If this was a restaurant, they're selling that for half off because it's yeah, like girl, that's on too good to go. That's yeah. on too good yeah, to go. Yeah, there you go. That's on a Facebook group, bitch. 
<laughs> but that's all he did, and then he then he left. Um, because no, he also I, has the the pass. Yeah, he's he has a, he has a he's a magic key holder there. Did as he well. ride? Did he ride? The, did he ride the fun wheel? He did not ride the fun wheel, but he went over to he walked his little ass over to Pixar Pier and noticed. And I go, oh my god, I forgot to tell you, Incredicoaster Coaster is down for refurbishment until Friday. <gasps> Oh, and he leaves on Friday, and uh, he is so mad. And they were like testing what a, it too. What a shitty uh, <laughs> Also, like, why would you be down? He's well, not. Why would you be? He's not her client. No. J- yeah. No, I didn't tell him. <laughs> I, hey, I didn't. I didn't even know he was going into the park until he was like, "I'm gonna walk over I'm there and get a beer over. and a corn dog and maybe watch World of Color." And I was Did like, "He gets salt and straw." Me- That's what I should have asked. He should have. Oh no, but he's salt. there until he's there until. You know, Friday. there's a burger and shakes place that we ate at there oh, that I think yeah. he'll really love. That he really go, ruined um, my stomach. <laughs> Literally, we went to the Grand Californian for lunch, and I was like, "Oh, I had the poke bowl there with Adam. It was really good." He goes, "That's what I ordered." <laughs> So he liked good. the poke bowl. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was good. Um, it was, it yeah. was good. But and then I was, but he didn't even have to do anything until three o'clock today. And I was like, so you're telling me I could have flown on Sunday? We could have done the park Sunday night, Monday, and like Tuesday morning, and I could have flown my ass home on Tuesday and would have been fine. Yeah, she's, she's a, a big girl. I can fly on by myself. Well, I would have had to. <laughs> Where's he uh, saying was, the Hojo? No, um, he is staying at the Element, which it's a Marriott property. It's um, we walk past it. Is we that the one with the it. with we the logo where it. the letters are like squares? Why am I, I imagining that? I don't know. It is a <laughs> twelve minute walk to security instead of our eight minute from Hojo, but it's oh. the opposite way. Adam, oh. you, remember, our, you go you down Disney walk way. Before, Adam, remember our detour. I don't know the, the scenic were, walk that we took. Yes, we were like, I, let's get some. We more walked steps right in, in front of it. Mm. Yeah, mm. great. Right in front of it. So that's where he's staying. And I asked him today because I was actually talking to somebody about a Disneyland vac- a potential client, and I was like, oh, I have a referral to this uh, other. I was like, I prefer Hojo, but also the Element. Great. The Element I've heard is great. I've heard I've first. Heard I have very close sources. Very close sor- primary close sources. Source. Yeah. So, because I've stayed at the at the um, it's not the one that's like you've had a gentleman caller at Casey. Jesus, I have no because I'm I'm a Hilton girly, so mm. I've stayed at the one that it's right next to Element. It's oh, called okay. something funky. Um, hold on, let me look. The Suncoast Park Hotel <laughs> Tapestry Collection. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love the name of Good Neighbor Hotels. They are so like Candy Cane Inn and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah, the it's castle. Hilton... Which one's the castle? Oh, uh, I don't is that the one that's, that's like right across right from? Yeah, but okay. I don't remember. What okay, it's while, we're, while we're on this Camelot, Camelot Inn. Inn. Camelot Inn. While we're talking about Disneyland resorts. Y'all, if you see anyone promoting the grand legacy at the parks <laughs> resort, they're lying. They are to you. lying to you. I what, have what are we talking about? I have confirmation from someone that was 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 repping the grand legacy because I've stayed there and I remember it was a so like how we promote oh. Hojo. Hojo, we, yeah. There's someone promoting. Have rates different. at Hojo. The yeah. Grand Legacy does the same for influencers and gives out special rates and sometimes free nights for the Grand Legacy back. was given them free nights because mm-hmm. you know what? It's a shithole. It is I've stayed there and and I was talking to someone that was promoting it. And I said to them, why are you going so hard on them? Did they give you the, did they give you your hotel for free? And they said, yes. <gasps> and they said, um, but I would never stay there. So this person is promoting it, promoting it, promoting <gasps> it. Talking about how Casey. close it is to the parks. <gasps> you Maisie move. You're within that 30, you're outside those 30 days. You change that shit. Mm-mm. I would change if I were you. Um, what's, because, can you give us just a taste okay, of what's not I'll great I'll give you about? a little taste. Because yeah. they had a similar experience to me, whereas they were on the... I, th- I think there's only 
one floor. There might be. Yes, you did, Maisie. Maisie, <laughs> Maisie, girly, you have four influencers here who promote the Hojo every single time. Hello, you cannot pay me to stay hello. at Grand Legacy. Hello, Joe. Because hello, um, Joe. All night you will see a crack in the door for in the light outside, and I thought maybe that's just my unit. But I asked this person, and they sent me a photo of the crack in their door, and you could see the light shining in at all hours. You hear the valet people all night um, parking cars. Um, the- RJ is is this where we is this where you're? No, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is um, like it's on whatever that street is. Is that Catella? No, it's not Catella, but like Harbor. I think it's Harbor, right? It's on Harbor. It's right at Harbor. It's like basically it's right by um because I've seen this store they have a weird storefront that has like a little boba place, a little taco place, like they have a little taco place, yes. Uh I mean they'll get you Um, because all they're promoting is oh, it's such a quick walk. I'm like, do you know how many which it is hotels are a quick walk to Disneyland? Do you know how many hotels? There's at least 20 that are within less than half of a mile. It's like, it's the only thing over is that it is probably, you know, the, the closest besides that one that's, that's right next to the, um, the light, but it is, I think that's the where beds are like, these, right I think that's, <laughs> that's where she is right now. The beds were these like tiny bouncy beds, like, like the spring loaded bre- bed Oh yeah. and the bathrooms. Okay. So I had an un my room wasn't renovated per se. And so like the bathroom was like really bad, like creepy motel bad, but I've seen the upgrades and they're not, they're not upgraded, I would say. Um, But it's mostly like the, just like the, it's, it's just a mo it's, it's a shitty motel that has, that has changed some of their rooms. But the thing is, is that they haven't changed all of them. So unless you got like the premier, premier room like you're gonna have a crappy rooms, room yeah. and you're gonna be able to hear those valet people park in those cars all night <gasps> um and like they it's just it's a bad it's not worth it girl because it is like motel style once you go inside yes. is it like motel style rooms yeah. Yeah. it's motel style so all the all the doors open to, to the to outside outside yeah but be be aware there are a lot of good neighbor hotels that are motel entry yes there are a lot yeah. exterior entry because it's and Southern everyone, California, it never rains. You know, you know yeah. who can help decide and let you know? We're a good Macy Moo. Is. Listeners, you're a local friendly travel agent. Maybe not so friendly all the time. And that's why. <laughs> it's, it's one of the places that I like. There's not really a lobby. The lobby is like this big. And I mean, it's there's just not one really of a lobby at the Hojo either. No, but I mean, yeah, but it's like there's there's. And they claim they have like this like um, rooftop bar or something. No. And the person that was also promoting it was saying how bad it was and how it started like leaking up there or something. I don't know. He was telling me all this stuff about it. And I was like sitting there like you're sitting here promoting this to these people. Like I would never. And you don't even like it. Like over promoting it. Yeah. Hmm. But but I've seen other I've seen other influencers get stays there, mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. thing is is that they're getting a fully comped stay, so they so are of acting. Of course, you're like, going to go out of your way. Yeah, it's so hard when people lie about things that they think are good when they're clearly not. Like it's yeah. like, would you put, spend your own money to stay there? And if it's no, oh. then no. Look at that, mate. Yeah. Look at there you go, Miranda. <laughs> It's Maisie Gurley. I am all Disney destinations, Disneyland Paris, Disney Cruise Line, Disneyland. Disney Tokyo. Nope, that's not Disney, babes. Shanghai. That's Oriental Trading Company. No, not Shanghai. Oriental Land no. Company. Ori- Whatever. Oriental Trading Company is that is shitty the- website yes, where you get yeah. like party favors. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so great. I will say for... I will say for Maisie, um, my boss, so my boss is going to Disneyland. He's staying at Hojo. And he was like, yeah, the the rooms weren't bad for, for this summer. Like, they're going in June. And and he said that they're just staying there like two nights or something. And he said they got a really good deal on a room. So mm-hmm. the summer rates might not be, so May 
might not be so bad. You might want to even if you look through me, I do have because I I mean I would hate for you to have a bad day at Grand Legacy. Yeah, yeah, and especially with how much walking. These babes. You don't want to like go back to a room that has a bad bed. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing worse. Genuinely, the, that's the why there was a cacophony of sounds when Miranda left, and and us three were left in that room because we were knocked out in the hotel room, bitch. And it was great. Zwonked. 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 Well, yeah. all right, let's go orf, shall we? Okay, I'm it's getting, time. I'm, I'm. I keep. I, I keep looking at myself, and I'm like. I keep getting frozen. Yeah, she's just like blurry. just like a qu- well, she's oh, always blurry. Yeah, if you click, you know, on stop video on the bottom, if you keep the little arrow, you can select what resolution you're showing yourself. Maybe you can adjust there. Wow, look who has the internet problems. Hello, now. <laughs> can you not hear us? Casey? I don't think she can. I can no, hear she- you. Oh, oh, but she's just really slow. Not also, yeah, really lagged. No, no. Okay, well, I'm gonna go okay, off. Yeah, well, yeah. Go ahead, Adam. Go off. Go okay. ahead, Adam. Go off. Um, RJ and I spent our anniversary dinner at a restaurant in Chicago on Friday. It's called at a place called Eden. Um, it's a great um, just like uh contemporary American, you know, fine fare. Um. It's a it's very describe, cl- yeah describe yeah. the the ambiance is dark it is dark wood dark tables like low lighting very date night energy okay the menu describe. very clearly date night they did like have a they printed off a thing on the front on like that like kind of transparent paper do you know what I'm talking about that like frosted yes. paper and it yeah, said yeah, like yeah. happy anniversary Adam and RJ oh, like, it was very yeah. cute um so it's clearly that is the energy of this establishment. Tell me why we walked in. We sat next to a table that had a literal infant at the table. I understand. Oh. I'm not. I'm truly, guys. We're not. We're not playing this game. We understand what you mean. We understand. Nope. Go ahead. I just want to say, I think there are plenty of establishments where it's absolutely understandable for you to take your infant to. Truly, any place like this is not one of them. It really isn't. Luckily, they were like getting their dessert when we sat down. So the kid was fussy for like 10 minutes and then they left. So it wasn't that yeah. bad. But like, I would have been so, <sighs> I just would have been annoyed. I wouldn't have like said anything. I wouldn't have asked to move. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not the type of person to do that. But it's just like, guys, if you're eating at this establishment, I know you have enough money to hire a sitter for the night. I'm just going to say that about like, the about the place that we were at. But also like if your sitter can't make it if there was an emergency and you had to take your child guess what cancel your dinner go another night yeah but also also how about this i've got another uh, option oh what if the hostess or host just didn't seat you there they see it's your anniversary let's put you in a dark corner that doesn't have there were two there were two tops so they could have sat us yeah but there was a whole nother room that they could set us in. It was that's true. It was fine. It didn't. I was not. It was fine. They left very quickly. But it was just. It was it's over. a place that they replaced all of your 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 dishware, your silverware after every course. It's it's uh, like a it's a nice yeah. restaurant. All of their it's ingredients. Not, they were like, we, we have a greenhouse across the street. That's where we grow all of our vegetables. The it's a seasonal menu. It's like one. It's like a. But it's like a fancy that. I, but not like were reservations hard to get. I think uh, that night they were, yeah, because there was a concert nearby or something. But I mean, like, but they, the but yes, we had come back to... like a week later and get reservations. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. We made it like a week away, and we were like, "Oh, great, oh. Friday looks good." So, but like, it was just very interesting because they were like, she was like toys, food. The little baby was eating the cake. They don't. I, they don't have high chairs here. They didn't have a high. Yes, um, because why? She was. She was literally holding the baby. And I was like, then I. And it was probably, I would say it was like six to nine months because it was old enough that it could like hold itself up. Like it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a baby baby. Yeah. Uh, I almost prefer a baby baby because then they are just going to sleep the, the whole time. Event. Yeah. Right. Um, This was like awake enough that it was like, yeah. And I was like, y'all. 
<laughs> we have to be serious. <laughs> this is this is the second week of of hating on hating on on mothers. Chill, yeah, mother. Wait, what did we say last week? Yeah, what did we say last? Didn't week? I have Remember something? RJ and his run? Oh, yes, yeah. this, this woman <laughs> running opposite the oh, track yes, with her. Yes, the with track. her yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least it's not like that girl on TikTok who like is getting roasted for talking about bringing your kids to Costco. <sighs> Have you seen the one of the lady who was like, just to be clear, she's like a psychologist or something. Anyway, she is going, it's going wild on Twitter. I haven't seen it on TikTok, but that's where the video got pulled from. She was like, I don't play with my children. I have conditioned them that anytime they ask me to play, yeah. I said no. And they're four and six years old. And so they don't play with me. She was like, that doesn't mean I don't do activities with them. We bake. We like do like, um, she was like, we have like some ceramic thing. Like she was like, we do things. We do art. We do blah, blah, blah. We do activities together, but I do not play with them. And the internet cannot handle. It. They can't decide if she's That's like a horror, crazy. if she's a good parent or a witch. If she's because <laughs> those are the only two options. So there's yeah. no, nothing in between. There's okay. nothing in between. So fascinating. That is anyway. Fascinating. I support mothers. Blah blah blah. Whatever. But then yeah. it, it it feel like I, we obviously they were only there for dessert. But I'm like, did you have like a full three four course meal like everyone else did with this baby, or did you come in and be like, I mean, that's I just why give yeah. us some fries. I would assume that's, that's why they're so there so exhausting. early. It would just be so exhausting as as the parents to have to try and enjoy this dinner and also you know make right make the yeah get the, the get the happy. fries for the kid yeah, yeah. the palm frites mm -hmm. because they're not fries you have to say uh, we love a good palm frite not anymore but you know but like can nine months old even eat fries I, you know I, I was not I, on I, those I, those I fries baby as soon as, I, <laughs> as soon as I could <laughs> Randy you don't you haven't had to look up any you haven't had the no Adam, you, are you, are you aware i was like drinking with you two weeks ago <laughs> are we listen anything's possible i was glass of wine with dinner is fine Friday. during your pregnant uh-huh yeah um no, but not my cup of vodka that that man at the movie theater bar poured. That me. was oh my wild. God. I actually can't believe <laughs> that, we didn't. We talk. haven't. We haven't talked about it. We but... did not talk about the woman who got cut off at that bar no. at like yeah. seven o'clock. But she wasn't seven o'clock. Oh, Casey, she wasn't even like that. She she had she been, walked like, drinking. up to the bar. She walked up drunk and was like, "Hey, can we get a drink?" And he's like, "I can't serve you." And they're like, "I've been but it's girls' that. night." That was her excuse, but it's girls' night, and that I haven't seen my okay. friend in like months. May, mind you, this is a movie theater it's bar. A movie bar. Theater bar. There go are to, a thousand other bars in the city that are just, that do not care about not the care. law. Yeah. Granted, we also yeah. had to go to that movie theater bar because it was the only bar close enough for close us to like wait theater. for a table. But where did she stumble from that she was already hammered? There was nothing I nearby. I feel like I, I saw her when we arrived, but I don't know where she was where or she where she came, came from. from. Maybe she came from a movie. Maybe, Maybe she, she was at that LA movie. Fitness. Oh, they came the right fitness. from LA Fitness. Sure. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. you know, she was watching. I don't even remember what movie it was playing at that night. Um, Problemista. No, that's not out yeah. yet. All right, I'm going to go. Miranda, it's time to go. It should not be allowed that our parents friend our friends on Facebook. <clears throat> and let me tell you why. Because Facebook has been around for so long. And I have different friends now. Mm. I am tired of going on Facebook and seeing my mother, seeing my grandmother, Wishing these random ass people that I haven't talked to in seven years a happy birthday or commenting on a photo being like, this is so cute. Oh, no. I saw it today with my grandma on one of my sister's old friends. And like, they did not end well. And like, obviously, like our parents and our grandparents don't know the stories and like they For don't sure. know. But it should just not be allowed because like these people aren't bad people and they're not going to be like, Oh, I'm not friends with so-and-so anymore. I'm going to unfriend them, mm -hmm. unfriend their, unfriend their grandma. My, yeah. Like that's just, yeah. It's so it should, it should just not be allowed. It should, if you want to follow them, you can follow them on Instagram. You can follow them on any other social media. It just cannot be Facebook. It cannot be <sighs> where they're telling you your birthday, where people like to post 
everything that's happening in everything their life. in yeah. their lives like everything you, it should not and be. just just you know piggybacking on that <laughs> when you get divorced <gasps> um, oh, as yeah. my sister or as my aunt or something maybe unfriend my ex-husband <laughs> and maybe don't congratulate him when he gets re-engaged <laughs> it's just a thought it's just wild Oof. like no no it, it should like, not be like there was there was a time when i was still living in the same home as my ex um and i was like i'm about to get on this computer where he's logged into facebook and unfriend all of <gasps> unfriend my all of your friends mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. i just don't i don't want that anymore but I didn't. And instead, I had my sister and my aunt both congratulating him on his engagement. And maybe even my peepaw, God rest his soul. Mm. Um, I'll give him a pass because because <laughs> peepaw's just a nice guy. But yeah. But you know, the others, it's hard to hard to forgive those ones, but whatever. I haven't even like I'll use Facebook to um unfortunately a lot of the Asian diaspora, the commun the Asian American community still uses a lot of Facebook. So I do have to make like events there sometimes for for the theater that I work with or like my family specifically. Um and then but like sometimes it'll just show up like all of my Orlando friends because I was still on Facebook when like we had lived in Orlando and it is fully like, oh, like we are just sharing every update on their lives on Facebook. Like, why? we're still doing this? Yeah, why has it become this journal? I, I, yeah. I it's wild how much, information, how much information people are willing to share to Facebook is just crazy to me. Like, I still. Mean, yeah, we all know that, yeah, 20, you know, anything before 2016, I was posted on Facebook. But sure. Oh, yeah, then sure. my lid has been zipped. Ha yeah. Has Casey mentioned she loves, she loves this place. place? Have I mentioned? Yeah, there are like people that are still. Have posting. I mentioned I love this place? It's girls' I, night. It's, 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 it's girls' night. We got together. Like I'm literally on it right now and scrolling, and there are still people scrolling. Like, because I have a lot of theme park entertainment performer friends mm -hmm. back in the day sure. and they'll still post pictures of like was this today and i'm like okay yeah you can love your job whatever but it's like that's that's up is that special <laughs> enough to share it's just very interesting very interesting i think i do not have a facebook i you set my yourself year. free i've set myself free my mom will do the thing now where she'll be like, did you see it on Facebook? And I'll be like, no, I don't have Facebook. She As goes, I know, but did RJ see it? And he showed you. And I'm like, oh, no. no. My grandma does that to oh, my I dad. guarantee no. you. No. No, absolutely no. not. No. <sighs> it's a bummer because I, I think, I think it's, there is an efficiency to, I think like people use it to be like, I'm going to update the people in my life about you know my kid or my blah 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 or whatever is going on da 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 so I'll use it as like announcements but like it is weird being the person who doesn't and I wasn't even what even in the last like year that I had Facebook no, I like we never were, like, went not on using it all so I'll only post if I click it on Instagram click share to Facebook that is the only time my Facebook will post something because mm. it's like i'll share this photo to my family too sure. oh i don't even do that i'm always like make sure share to facebook is not it's on off bitch turn yeah. that off not connected not, not connected. connected me and my current partner aren't even friends on facebook and that's yeah. on period you haven't updated your period. relationship status on you're not facebook? i have you're not fbr oh my god it, yeah wow Wild. okay uh, I can go. Okay, I I want to go because it, it oh, kind of okay. ties in. Okay, go, go ahead. ahead, go ahead, go off. Okay, so so just like you know the person that we were on Facebook years ago, <laughs> um, the person that I was in 2018, 2019 is not the person I am now, mm -hmm. and there's just something like in my bones that like 
whenever I see all of these people that I was like friends with on Facebook back in 2019 and 2020 still get so excited for a podcast that like hasn't really grown since then. Um, Mm. And, and like, I think, yeah, y'all are excited about this daily universe universal city walk saga that podcast ride is putting out but can we just remember that podcast ride doesn't care about their fans <gasps> and i'm just yeah, like i oh, just like adam you're missing out the word the adam is missing adam it. is missing out and it's just like every day when these people are like oh my god i'm so excited for day four. Oh my gosh and and like let people enjoy things i know but also like have we not grown since 2019? Has it not been five years since they were relevant? And I, it's just, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, and I haven't, it's just every day that I see these people posting about how excited they are for this damn City Walk saga. And this is like gossip that nobody cares about, except me and Freelac. Um, but like, it's like, why are y'all so excited for this? Like, they barely care about theme parks they have audibly said how much they don't care about most theme parks so i just don't get it why the fans are still like acting like it's 2019 whenever like i don't know just so much has changed since then and it's just like maybe i just need to stop following these people on instagram or something but it's just like well also on this facebook group you've been burned by people on this facebook group before i haven't been burned by multiple people on this that's why that's why i left the facebook group Uh and that's why i like it's a me thing it must be because it's like i can't enjoy it anymore whenever i know that most of the fans are awful and then also knowing that the like the guys who do the podcast don't care about what they're talking about anymore about their fans which it's fine you don't have to you don't have to be involved in your facebook group you don't have to be involved in your discord i guess you don't have to be involved in anything that's fan related you're just taking their money i guess the only thing they're involved in is patreon because they've got to post the posts but it's just like oh they're not involved on the reddit either so it's just like there's no involvement at least doughboys they're on their discord you pay eight dollars a month and you get to talk to mitch on discord (laughs) the end the last i still listen i still give my eight dollars a month for club three i do the i do the damn thing but what's keeping you what's what is it i i like i don't Hmm. I d- <laughs> when I when I started listening to it, I did it was because like they talked about theme parks. But over time, I just like the way that they talk to each other. I like their energy together. Um, that's really what has kept me there. I will say, they definitely they had their most recent the the last time I felt like I was enjoying listening to an episode and they were talking about theme parks, and I was like, oh, they're like excited about it was they did the journey into imagination episode um and the guy that they had was the guy who hosts um drunk history i don't remember what his name is mm-hmm. but he is yes, like that guy a huge theme park nerd and like loves figment he like has like he like has like some original thing from the ride like he like bought a thing anyway he like loves figment so it was very nice because he brought such an earnest energy to the conversation that it yes. kind of like struck down their like cynical thing. And that episode was really good. Like they were just having a really good time talking about it. It's a lot of pride everybody loves. So it was very enjoyable. Most of the time, it just kind of like they're like banter with each other because I like they at this point they have become like stock characters of themselves. Yeah, like, they have like each of them has their kind of thing. You yeah. Know? And I I have so much goodwill specifically toward Mike Carlson. He could pretty much do anything and I would probably support him because I just think he's like very not cool and also aware of how uncool he is, which makes him very cool to me. Yes. Scott is always trying to be. I feel crazy talking about this on. I wish. I, I, yeah, I cannot believe you. They're going to find this on YouTube and come out. No, they're not us. because they don't care. 
They don't care. And it's well, fine. Their fans are going to find this on YouTube. This we'll is not it. either. Come for me yeah. then because <laughs> I was, I was oh. podcast the rides like number one fan. I was, I was giving them gift cards saying like, thank you so much for the show you do. I was so up there, little assholes. Yeah. And now I'm not. Scott not is, me. Scott <laughs> is, has always felt like he like wants to be, he wants to be taken like re- he he is like very critical of comedy. I don't agree with probably any of his takes he's ever said on the no. pod. It's truly wild. I like he Jason. Will, will... I really feel bad for what Jason's currently going through, obviously. Blah, blah, blah. He's sick. Um, but I like Jason. I think he's very kind of like he's so weird, which he's is kind so of charming in its own, and in charming. Its own way. Yes. Yes. Um, so I still do it's... like all that stuff. But yeah, it does suck that they just like during COVID, they like didn't really know how to talk about it. They felt like weird. I think talking about it because we couldn't go, which is fair. Mm-hmm. But then I think they just like fell out of the rhythm of it. And then like two of them had kids and blah, 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 blah. And like things stacked on top of each other. Life and... changed. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah, I don't. I think it'd be fine if they just stopped doing the podcast or if they just transitioned it away from being about theme parks, because I, uh-huh. I do still enjoy like listening to them talk. I would listen to talk yeah. about probably anything, even it's though like, I don't like straight guys. Sometimes, you know, when there's a podcast that there is nothing to talk about in Animal sometimes Crossing anymore, but people really just want to hear us talk about everything you else. Transition. That's OK. Transition. Yeah. Yes. It's about learning and yeah. growth. Honey. Growing. Because, yeah. yeah. And I and I will just say, like, just surprise for anyone, I mean, like, no one listens to podcast ride really, but or that's listening to us. But for just a prime example, so they went to Orlando <laughs> recently and they decided to go to Jelly Rolls. And everyone was on board. They were there with like Griffin Newman. And and maybe someone else. Everyone's on board except Scott literally was like, $20? Nope, I'm not going. I'm going to walk around. And he he bitched and moaned about having to pay this $20 cover fee. Which, like, absolutely, like, I'm I'm the same way as, like, a local I never went because it was $20. I have yeah. gone before. Yeah, we had gone because if there was a friend that was like, hey, Wanted we're having... Wanted to go, yeah. yeah. You just go because everyone else is going. But everyone else went and Scott didn't go. And it's just like, one, this is all tax write-off. Two, literally save the receipt. Yeah. And you were just like, it's just like, come on, man. Like take, it's, emblem- take- it's emblematic of where they're at with the whole thing. That's yeah. It it's like this isn't even good for the bit. But like Mike was like, you know, Mike's excited because, you know, I can get him to to play some crazy weird song that yes. I like, mm-hmm. you know, it's so it's, it's things like that that like take me out of it at times. And I'm just like, okay, we get it. Like you're too good for this. We yes, know the energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when and listeners, when you're tired of us, Tell, tell us, you know, bitch. Just say tell it. Us. You don't need to I, tell us. This isn't an airport. You don't need to announce your departure. <laughs> <laughs> I have an announcement. Yeah, I'm tired. Hey guys, I'm fucking suckling my out. Patreon. I'm done. But yeah, also, I think it's very, please. I mean, genuinely, I think there's a birth life death of everything. I think that, like, every kind of thing goes through its cycle. Like, I think. Doughboys are interesting because they've been doing it for so long and they kind of are still strong. Although there are people that believe that they're actually not friends in real life. It's very funny. (gasps) Um, They, but like I listened to George, I was like very early adopter of my favorite murder. I listened to them for a very long time. I loved Georgia and Karen. And then it just and started the Amazon just the Amazon. I mean, that didn't bother me the way it bothered some people. I was like annoyed by it, but I didn't. Like, and then when they came it's... to me live and they left left thousands of, their... of gifts that of people gifts. brought to their meet yeah. and greet. Oh, my God. They were That's... such fucking twats. I swear. Like they were. So we're coming rude. for everybody in this episode. They we're were, coming for them all. so rude. And that is so wild to me, Miranda, because it's like the least they could do is have their one of their assistants box everything up Shh, and leave it at the hotel literally they didn't throw even it look, out throw it they out they didn't even look through it they took I, it they really what they should do is just be like please don't don't 
please don't feel the need to bring a gift for us. We are we unable take to take home. things I'm with so you. We're on tour. I totally understand that they yeah. can't take it. I mean, we're on a tour. What are they going to do? Bring six extra suitcases for all the no, shit? No, of course. But it was literally so much merchandise that these people like, and it was like from like their small shop. Oh, they would I make, yeah. the make blueberry gold. lemon scones. I was like, these are mine. Any food <laughs> item I took. And I was like, hopefully these aren't poisoned. <laughs> Great. And then I think I even like emailed a bunch of friends that I knew that were friends or like mm-hmm. fans of the show. And I was like, do you want me to send you some shit? Because I have it. I have a bunch. So crazy. Crazy. I didn't get that email. That's so weird. Um, <laughs> my vibe. <laughs> uh, murder wasn't your vibe back then, Adam. You didn't want a shirt that says stay sexy and don't get murdered. <laughs> SSDGM. Stay the girlies and, and do like, God's when I was like, working the meet and greet, they were like, are you a murderer? And I was like, no, I'm no. not. Please stay in line, please. <laughs> I'm just here for I'm the an bar employee. Show. I'm an employee. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. Anyways, okay. Okay. Sorry, I, I had go. to get that off my chest, and I and I was saying it to Joe Absolutely. the other day, and I was like, I just I just need to to put this somewhere before I say something snarky on Instagram and insult the the Cliffords, and then Joe goes, oh, they call called? themselves. They called themselves yes. Cliffords. I say yes, and he goes, "Isn't that the little annoying character in the in Martin the movie?" Short. Yeah, and I said yes, and he said, yes. "And they're okay with being called this little annoying Wait. character?" And I yeah. said yes. So, see, Anyways. that's not like us, girls. We call our listeners divas. You're queens in our. They're yes. truckers. You're truckers. You bring truckers. the supply. You keep America alive, truckers. Yes. Beep. 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 Yeah. Beep, Put that on a shirt. Uh, go okay. ahead, RJ. Go off. I will go. <laughs> okay. I gotta just, get out of here. I know. I am tired of. Okay. Randa's bedtime is in one minute. I, know. I am. All of my shit. He'll turn into right the now. Halloween Town pumpkin. <laughs> Uh, my yeah, Let's my go, my go phone off. At, at nine fifteen. <laughs> Stop talking, RJ. Go. My phone at nine fifteen goes into sleep mode. Okay, I'm gonna go off about Airbnb, oh. and not even I'm not even gonna. It's not even that I'm defending Airbnb, but sometimes when you are traveling, it is the more logical choice depending on who you're traveling with. Let's say. Okay, is this sponsored uh, by Marfa Gay? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> but when my mother when my sister when my i'm really just those two but in my sister's defense she was like it's mostly mom because she will not stop talking to me about it if she's like well do we really need to stay at an airbnb in seoul like i don't even understand like we can just stay at a hotel why would we slum it by staying in someone's house (laughs) to which i literally had to call her and i was like you will want a kitchen you're gonna say you don't want a kitchen but you will want a kitchen. And then you're going to complain about it and be like, ah, there's not just a microwave. That's it. Also, we're getting two rooms. It's not even like equal in cost. Like also like, it's not like we're staying in like people's. They, yes, they people own this house, but they don't live there. It's not like their home. Like they have bought this home for you to, for people like us big families going on a big trip together to to stay in this and it's just interesting because i think maybe there's a little generational thing about wanting to stay in an airbnb that they don't still understand you know Mm -hmm. it's not just in my family let's say that um that still kind of find it uncomfortable to which i'm like i will not i will be yes i live in the city that doesn't mean i will like find a bad cheap Airbnb, just like save a buck. The reason why I'm picking an Airbnb is because I, you want the amenities of staying somewhere nice for like a whole week. That's not a hotel and you're not stressing out. And that's like, you're paying so much money for whatever. So yes, you will be staying an Airbnb mom. You are getting a kitchen because you're going to want to make something. You're going to say you don't, but you're going to want this damn kid. RJ chose a very, when we went to Paris, I will say RJ chose excellent Airbnbs. Um, When we went to San Francisco, he chose a really bad hotel. So I have taken over any time that we have to book a hotel. <laughs> if I it's hotel, Adam is hotels and I will do the Airbnbs. Yes. I, I will say I am not 
an Airbnb girl. Mm-hmm. I, I, it ends up being the same cost as a yeah. hotel with all the But you're not looking there. for a home. You're not looking for a house experience when you're traveling though. No, I'm not. I mean yeah. like obviously I have to book an Airbnb like when we're in a small town in Italy right. and there are no hotels. Yes. Like that's yeah. totally fine. Um but yeah, it's not hotel. I've never... <laughs> Yeah. It's just not not been my my forte. So yeah, I I would know nothing about booking an airbnb that that's not part of the disneyland itinerary it's not part of yeah it's not part of my can i also say hasn't your mother stayed at an airbnb in florida multiple times in florida she has and she loves them she she likes it with a nice hotel (laughs) but i think she's she just is like well it's korea it's you know i don't know anything about Um, korea why would i go and stay in someone's house and she literally was like why are we staying an hour away from the airport and i had to be like the airport is not in the city center like most airports. You the airports are typically 40 to 60 minutes away from the center of the city. And she was like, ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, oh, okay, okay. So that's just fun. Can't wait. Can't, Except for Vegas. Fun. Vegas, you're right on the strip. Yeah. You get off that plane, you're, you're right, right in you're Vegas. Right baby. there. Right oh there. My God. Yeah, they yeah. land you on the strip. They're yeah. like the strip is the strip the, is the, the runway. runway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so we're very, very um all that to say, I'm very excited for this trip. <laughs> and then so what is going on with Winnie down there? But I am scared. She's howling. Well, that's it. Um, thank Didn't you, everyone. Yeah, she was the first one. Yeah. Oh. She talked about the friends on Facebook. Yeah, an oh, hour ago. Right, right, an, right. Hour ago. an hour ago. So thanks, everyone. Don't forget, close friends on Patreon. You get three bonus episodes. We just recorded our second episode today. Um, we have our own Disney Channel night. So be excited mm-hmm. with that. And then at the end of the month, our, we are going to do an Ask Me Anything. So if you're a Patreon or if uh, you'll be in our close friends Instagram, we'll sh- you know we'll ask the question there. And you can ask us literally anything. Ask us our most cringeworthy moments of our and lives. honestly even if you just want to ask us questions and you're not even on the patreon you won't hear the answers but you have questions go ahead you have and ask questions us to ask too. us yeah <laughs> we'll answer them on patreon girls Goodbye. thanks it's time for bed you're you we saved you tonight I think we saved Maisie's life. I think we saved a life tonight we saved we, we yeah. saved a life tonight guys and proud of us and that's important all right thank you everybody and don't forget to read the group chat bye goodbye goodbye